Hey, I'm Pay Marine back here with another uh, kill team, um, I don't know, video focus, if you will. Um, this one is not a faction focus one, but this one is more on the uh, the leak or whatever you want to say that just came out of the um, the pricing of all the new kill team stuff. Now this is uh, um, in U.S. dollars because I'm in the states, so that's what I'm more uh, was more interested in finding out. I had seen earlier a few. Um, places had leaked uh, like pounds. I think in euro was also leaked. I feel like all the pricing across the board has been leaked out now, um, as distributors and um, people are getting their their ordering uh, stuff in and their pricing. Um, so everything has a list or a list date of pre orders on the twenty first, with a release on the twenty eighth. Uh, the kill team box set is one hundred and thirty dollars. I think that's a great price point. You get all those books, all those things, the scenery, the two kill teams. Like, I mean, that's well worth its weight in gold, really. Um, that's, I think, hit the nail on the head. I was expecting 150 maybe even more, honestly, and I'm glad to be wrong. Um, it's still not a cheap thing, but 130 versus, like, I mean, I could buy an Alario, the Everqueen, for 130 um, and have one gigantic, gorgeous model but you definitely get a lot for that. Um, the core manual by itself is uh, going to be $40, which is, I think, online with um, what the Shadow War core manual was. Um, so, and then here's where I, I'm a little bit disappointed, honestly. Um, Kill Team Fangs of Ulfrich and Kill Team Krog Skulls Boys. Um, both of those are listed at $60. Um, now, why am I upset with that? Well, uh, I do. I, it's a good deal because you get a, a kill team and terrain and cards and things. So, like as far as like buying those things separately, um, it it's definitely cheaper than buying like um, reavers and then that terrain. And then on top of it, you're getting all those rules and everything for a kill team. Um, however, sixty dollars is a decent amount of money, especially if you have somebody that's interested in picking up a lot of these. Um, kill teams. So now, at least for myself, I feel like I have to very seriously consider um, how much I'm going to invest in this kill team. Um, it may, it, like they talk about, they're, they're keeping it around, it's going to be supported for years to come, um, but then it really comes down to your local area, how much people are interested in playing it, like is it going to play for a little bit and fizzle out, is it going to have like a really small niche group that is interested in it to where you only have like three or four, maybe five people and so you're used to playing the same people all the time, um, and the, and that's not necessarily bad if these prices were a bit a bit better, um, because it, even with a small number of people, if the price point's right, they can all everyone can start collecting all different types of kill teams, and then so yes, you're playing the same person but not the same faction against them or even yourself fielding the same faction every time. Um, so in my mind, I kind of almost wish they would have went the way of the Underworlds uh, expansions and just left the terrain out. Um, I get the idea of it is a little bit, you get a little bit more and you can, that way everyone can start adding more terrain to their games and things, or it encourages that because, oh, I have this terrain now. But, um, shoot, honestly, if it would have, if, if you take the terrain out and it just dropped it $20 down to $40, like to me, I'd be okay with that price point. I'd pay forty dollars for the kill team and those things, um, and I and it, I don't know. I don't know if it's because their their reasoning. I honestly, as I'm talking about this now, I feel like maybe part of the reason because otherwise, if they were to drop it down to like forty dollars, let's say, um, and I'm not sure. Let me pull up. I'm gonna pull this up real quick. Um, compare some pricing here and see um, how we can do this because we all know the markup on models is just out there you can call inflation you know all the different currency exchange rates um, and then the fact that you know I mean at the end of the day it is a smaller company and they have a lot of employees so you can't really have the days of old where you're paying like I don't remember what, like $30 or something like that in the early days for like a like, I don't know, 30 Space Marines. I, 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 it's a bit exaggerating, but... Um, so, okay, so a five-man Reaver, so easy, so it's $35, right? 
So $35 for five man is not that bad because I'm sure that's all that's in the fangs of Ulrich. Um, and the Burna Boys are $25. So, um, so if you take the terrain out, um, let's see here. Servo haulers are $40. So forty dollars plus the twenty-five, so you're looking at sixty-five dollars, um, and then the card. So you're saving five dollars. Um, <laughs> you're saving five dollars on the Burnham Boys thing for getting terrain. You know, I don't know. You know, if you would take out. I mean, you take out the terrain and you give me two sets of five Burna Boys, that's $50 plus the cards. Like Now I, I feel like you're close to the $60 range, and if you still want to give them a discount, charge $40, and you're getting you know $10 off and some cards versus you know $5, and you know, you're know you only getting five. But with 10 Burna Boys, now I can make a bigger kill team, I can convert more, um, all that. So Reavers were, what, 35 right? And... Let me see if I can find the terrain that comes with it. I'm not sure how much that costs separately. Let's go down. I don't remember that terrain. I know it's a Mechanicus or Sector Mechanicus or whatever. Um, industrial. Okay. Let's see. I think it's the stack one. I feel like it's like that, but not quite as robust. Let me check the picture here. Okay, it might be. It might be that. It's the stacks. Um, all right, so it looks like it's the Sector Mechanicus, and I ah, have to pronounce the uh, Alchemite stack. Um, yeah, that seems to be the only thing that's close to it now. Uh, that's a $50 set, which is pretty up there. Um, and then what did I say the Reavers were 35? I believe for a five man squad. Yeah, 35. Um, so I don't know. So there, I mean, you're looking at 85 now for that. Um, plus the cards. So, I mean, there's a deeper discount going with the Fang of Ulfrich selection. Um, although I don't think that those stacks are worth $50. Like that, I mean, looking at this, like so I got most of my Mechanicus things. Well, not most. I got all my Mechanicus stuff through the uh, the Shadow War box set, which was a great deal. Um, I didn't buy any of this stuff separate. But the only thing that I mean, I got like the Servo Haulers when they came out separate. The stacks that I got were in that set, and $50 is a crazy price point I think I mean, I'm, I'm just now looking at a lot of these like they're all a bit out there like uh, the industrial terrain set is a good price for it at $175 because you're getting I don't know it looks like the stack the sector mechanicus incinerator and the servo haulers all in that and yeah because and then there's a sector mechanicus uh, forge shrine it's 40 bucks. Like, that's a pretty good deal. It's a decent looking set there. Um, yeah, I mean, that's that's a good set right there, the Forge Shrine. But uh, $50 for just the furnace is nuts, I think. The f then there's the Ferritonic Incinerator that is basically just the furnace with a few more walkways. So it's $10 more for that. Like, I guess that's probably the better way to go than to get just the furnace. Um, anyway, I'm getting way sidetracked with these unfortunate pricing of these mechanic, uh, industrial mechanicum, whatever mechanicus, um, terrain sets, which is unfortunate. But anyway, so that's definitely so. I mean, that's the better deal for sure. Um, but still, uh, having to dish out sixty dollars every time I want to get a new kill team box set so I can get the special rules and cards all in a nice thing. Um, not the biggest fan of that. And on top of it, then they're also selling dice for every faction too. So if you really want to have your dice, because as I had read in an earlier article, it's kind of a funny thing, but a lot of people believe it or just have that superstition. And like, you know, I'm one that 
Um, I don't necessarily have that superstition necessarily, but I have a little bit more of an OCD issue. Um, so when stuff like that comes out, like, I, oh, my dice have to match my army type of thing, you know. Uh, unfortunate for me, but fortunate for Games Workshop that I have that OCD problem. <laughs> um, yeah, so a little, uh, suffice it to say, a bit disappointed. Yes, there's going to be, uh, obviously, as we can see in just these two, there's a huge disparity in the savings. Uh, yeah, just huge from one end to the other. All right, and then we have the uh, Kill Team data cards. I believe these are just blank data cards that you put um, your um, your own custom team stuff on. Uh, so that's going to be coming in at $15. So that's not, I mean, I guess that's not too bad. It's what it is. Uh, and now we have all the new terrain. Uh, and again, this is kind of one of those unfortunate... All right, so uh, just another kind of expensive model. So it's going to be like really hard to want to collect the kill teams and everything else because I want to get this terrain, but, you know, and I want to load up on terrain. I love terrain. I love the look of this new terrain, but at these prices, like I, I'll have this set that comes in the, in the box set, and then that's probably about it. Uh, so the Basilican, Basilican, Canum, uh, the new, yeah, the biggest set they have of the new uh, models is $100. Uh, the Sanctum is 75 and then the Administratum is 50 I might have a visitor here in a few minutes, so. Uh, and then the Ruins is uh, 35 I hear my son outside, so I, oh. Who's that? What are you doing now? <laughs> Got your big shooter? Yeah. So, um, so yeah, so the, uh, the Sanctum is 75 and the administ Administratum, stra stratum? I can't use these words, is 50. And then the Ruins is 35. The Ruins is not a bad price point at 35. Uh, my only issue with that being, um, that they're just, it's small, it's like, it's not gonna be like, I mean, it'll set some aesthetic, but nothing too crazy huge. <laughs> um, and then I'm not sure if it's the Sanctum, or the, the bigger, the, uh, whatever, the, the, uh, Basilicanum, Basilicum, Basilicanum, whatever. <laughs> Uh, that comes with those new cool-looking statues. I'm hoping it's the Sanctum, because that'd be cool. It's $75. Um, I, think, I, th I think if it's the Sanctum that comes with those, that's a pretty decent uh, price point. Let me... Uh, it doesn't... I don't have the names of them. Shoot. So I'm not sure on that one. Um, but yeah, so then we have the... Uh, the kill zone sector mechanicus. Now this is that new kind of kill zone thing that comes with uh, rules for certain areas and then uh, terrain and such like that. Um, and that's coming in at eighty dollars. So again, that price point is pretty high if you're going to try to also collect all the kill zones. So honestly, I feel like the pricing. Oh, and then, sorry, and then the last one is the kill team, that squad carrying case for 35 which is not a bad price for a little carrying case. It's only got one tray in it, um, so I don't know. You could probably carry 50 models, maybe, if you really shove them in there. They're not huge ones. Um, definitely could fit comfortably 20 for sure, but probably even 30 comfortably. Uh, but I, could, I think you could probably squeeze in 50 or maybe even a little bit more than that, especially depending upon the size of the models and the bases and all that. So anyway, 35 for that little thing if you, you know, just want to show up with not your whole army and just bring a kill team. Um, so, yeah, so that's not too bad. But now back to my other point overall. Um, price point wise, I, I don't know, it's, it's not, it's not horrible if you're going to go like hard into the paint on this. Um, but if you are trying to do both, I feel like you're going to really be stretching your hobby dollar. 
Um, because a lot of the terrain that comes in, like the kill, like really the kill zones, if you already have Shadow War and a lot of these other terrain, like you have that terrain, you're buying it for the rules. Uh, $80 is a lot for a set of rules. Um, yeah, I, I just, yeah, and then kind of same thing with some of the kill teams. Like you already have, some people already have a lot of the kill teams, but they want the rule sets that come in, the little fancy tokens. Um, and again, like $60, like a lot of those, like from one end to the next, you're not really getting this, you're getting $5 off, which, okay, cool, great, with um, the boys. And then you're, I mean, you're getting a, a decent amount more off with uh, the Space Wolves one. Um, but again, that's going to vary widely from set to set that comes out and keeping that $60 price point. I feel like, you know, they'll lose money, they lose money on some aspects like with the Wolves, but make it up in others that are much closer to the mark, like the boys. Um, yeah. So anyway, so that's my spiel. That's the pricing that's going over. Um, I'm still gonna get the box set for sure. I wanna get the two um, starter sets for the other kill teams and the kill zone. Um, and I don't know, I'm kind of thinking about, I'm on the fence about the, the carrying case thing. It's cool, but like, I don't, do I really need it? You know, it's not a must have. Um, no, really none of this is a must have, right? It's a hobby, but. Um, but yeah, I, I definitely am gonna get the kill team box set for sure. Um, and uh, like, I can tell you now, I'm not gonna get the kill zone at launch because that's 80 bucks on top of 130 already. Can't, that's, that's I mean, I'm, I'm, that's already over 200 bucks right there. Um, and then if I get one of the other kill teams, then again, that's 60 bucks, that's 190, I'm looking close, I'm looking probably close to, if not over 200. <laughs> Excuse the extra noise. Um, looking over, probably over $200 after taxes and everything, so. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do there. Um... I, if I do, I'll probably get the Burna Boys one, um, or I won't, and I'll just have to wait, because like I said, um, $60 is a lot, but then here's my other problem with this, is like I said, like I have to wait, like, you know, your money doesn't grow on trees for a lot of us, I have to put in a lot of hours at work, and I'm salary anyway, so I don't really get paid extra for doing more work and, um, and whatever else, so a lot of times my hobby time is limited. You know, I've got kids, as you can hear in the background, i got three little ones running around, and, um, you know, spending time with my family is important, and, uh, <laughs> and also they have expenses of their own, and so, uh, yeah, like, my son is really into Legos now, so Legos are not cheap, by any means, are they? Yeah, yeah they are? No, they're not, they're lots of money. Yeah, um, so, you know, as he gets older, maybe then he'll jump in the hobby with me, too, and that way, you know, um, we can share our hobby funds that way. Um, but, uh, yeah, so, my issue is, like, how fast are they going to be coming out with these other releases? Because they don't have the dice on here, there's other accessories and things that they had announced that aren't on here yet, um, and more kill teams, 16 altogether. So how quick are those other kill teams going to be getting pumped out? Um, I can see them coming out pretty quickly because they want people, of fans of all different factions, to come into kill team. Um, granted, they, you know, a lot of people already have kill teams and they'll have their rules in the books already so they can already start playing their factions. But at the same time, a lot of people that have that little OCD bug or that collector bug or whatever you want to call it are definitely going to want to get their own little kill team box set that comes with their faction and their special tokens and markers and such. Um, so yeah, so that really is going to be what sets the tone. Oh, sets the tone on um, how this really is going to go. Um, if I if there is enough of a following here, yeah, it matches, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. Um. If there's enough of a scene here, enough of a following, um, and people go into it, I could, <laughs> I could see myself going full into this and kind of setting my larger 40k stuff on the side. Um, 
for more just kind of more tournament and bigger events. Hey buddy, can you come here for a minute or can you just, you want to come with daddy's video real quick? So that way you can be kind of shh. Okay. There. And then we can go play after this, okay? What are we going to play? Star Wars. Star Wars? Yeah, okay. <laughs> um, so yeah, like, um, I could definitely see myself, because I would definitely have enjoyed all the kill teams, but I like the small skirmish things, and like I said, you get to experience more factions that you may have wanted to get into, but, you know, playing the larger 40k, you know, like, to really get any games with anybody, you're usually bringing 15 to 2,000 points, um, you know, which can be kind of rough sometimes. Hey, buddy. Um, so, um, yeah, I don't know. We'll see, uh, how this is going to go. And like I said, like, they're really, if they really start pumping things out quickly, it might even price me out of kill zone, um, where I just can't keep up with what I want to do and with all these kill zones and everything else, um, where I have to go back to the slower pace stuff of the 40k and I, I can see why they're starting to pick this up now because they have what I think two codexes left to release <laughs> they got two codexes left to release and then uh, they're all caught up finally after about a year and a half it'll be well it's, it's only been a year and a month now <clears throat> so um, yeah we'll see um, but yeah hopefully the, the pace isn't too horrible where we kind of keep up um but i don't see that happening unfortunately i feel like it's gonna be pumped out quick and i'm gonna miss out on things i wanted to get that will get discontinued and replaced by other things unfortunately uh, which is kind of the name of the game so i get it they got to keep pumping product pumping that plastic crack onto the street so they can get their money and uh, they definitely do don't they yeah yeah <laughs> so all right well until next time you wanna wave bye? Wave bye. <laughs> Alright. Alright, until next time.